What's up guys, Lillian here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Red Paladin. We're gonna play the One Minute Wings build with Fading Light and Crusading Strike, or not Crusading Strikes, Crusader Strike. Um, I've been kind of itching to try a different build. Also, I'm playing uh, the Consecrated Blade for the slow and the movement speed cleanse when I'm standing on top of my, uh, my own Consecration. And I'm playing double DPS Trinket. So let's see what we can get done here. I'm gonna pick up the Berserker. And hopefully we just get one big Omega team fight. I'm going to hodge this guy. Get a couple cleaves in. One tap the warrior. The wall high. 270k non crit. Pretty big, pretty big. Hit myself once. And a couple uh, Crusader Strikes out here. I have Lei coming off cooldown. I'm curious to see how, how big my uh, my max... Oh, let's kick this clone here into a Hodge. How big I see my max Templar's Verdict is by the end of this game. Do I still have Berserker? Three seconds, I guess. Huge damage. Go ahead and run at this priest. Here's me. Not playing a, uh, a CC break trinket because I'm human. We have our cooldowns back in one second here. All right, wings. Oh, get blinded in my wings. I'll try and cleave this final reckoning onto the warrior and the uh, hunter. Down he goes. Back over to the hunter. Big wake of ashes. He's fearing eagle. I'm gonna stun it late. My damage is incredibly high. I think. It's all due to Crusader Strike, right? Oh yeah, and I'm playing Divine Purpose instead of um, Divine Resonance. I do love Divine Purpose. If anyone plays Cataclysm, I believe in Cataclysm, Divine Purpose was our mastery. Like, the higher mastery you had, the more proc chance you had for Divine Purpose. But at the same time, Crusader Strike was your only generator until, I believe, the end of the expansion. When they made Judgment also a generator. I have a healer here. I'm going to bot myself high. Hopefully no one breaks the bot. Because I don't necessarily trust random BG healers. I'm getting... All apt right here. Come on, guy. I'm right next to you. Just hit me with some, hit me with some juice. Oh, what are the Aussie cleanses me? Very, 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 very low, right? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna go over here, pick up this uh, Berserker buff. Unfortunately, my cooldowns are a little desynced, but I have um, my wings back in a couple seconds. Get some Crusader strikes out on this guy. His walls come down. I need to attack this Ellie Shaman here. He walls. I have a lay for myself out of this. I'm gonna run back, hit this warrior. Hit myself once, hit myself twice. I'm trying to cut away from this paladin. Hit myself one more time. It's crazy how I just can't tell myself off in BGs. A little unfortunate. Give myself a little bit more. Watch this guy. Crusader Strike. Ooh, he feigns my triple hit. Good job on his part, honestly. Got a clean wake of ashes into a blade of justice. I do have bubble. I press bub. On the fear of the eagle as well. Maybe I can get a kill. The healer's right here. I'm uh, trying to watch myself. Alright, I have a two stack. I'm gonna go in here. Kick this healer. Wall high. Let's swap on the hunters. I can do the most of the hunter as long as he doesn't uh Paint it like that. <laughs> I'm gonna double heal myself, including a health stone. 
Maybe I can get a kill on this rogue. Never mind. Ah! I can't heal myself. <laughs> Okay, coming back in here. Hit this guy with the full hodge on the evoker CC damage increase take or whatever. <laughs> damage increase, I mean uh, CC increase. We're gonna load myself once into a flash heal. All right, this guy's completely immune. Which means he's probably pushing radiance too much. This guy has static field totem, I'm very sad. He purges off my freedom into an earth grab and then wind storms away or whatever it's called. Get a wings proc on this uh this dude. Wings procs are so short with regular wings. Kill the Sky Fury. Turn it out. Double shield this. I have lay very very soon. Can I get one global off? Oh, it's close. It's close. Let's take a look at how the um. Overall data. Fading Light has done a total of 234k absorb. That's pretty low. It's not nothing, but it's pretty low. Maybe it is worth taking, who knows? Get this guy with the Hodge. You have Wake. Just spin it on him right there. Oh, we got capped on, unfortunate. Looks like this is our, um, what, what is this little dragon that's shooting me? Fey dragon? Where's the boomy? I don't see the boomy. Nice little fade away hammer of justice or hammer of wrath. Beardful. I do think I don't really notice when I have wings up because the damage is very, very low. No shield avenge out of this. Our healer's on top of us. This guy walls. I'll heal myself once more. Two more times. I'm gonna bubble here. Maybe Lay would have been the better option because this healer's not right. Okay, there he goes. Now he's picking me up. A couple Crusader strikes. We're just dead because I don't know why we're dead. I don't know why we're dead. Wow, I had a 447k final verdict. I don't think that was on an FC either. That's crazy high. Yeah, I, I, that definitely was not on an FC. <laughs> Obviously, that was with the Berserker buff, for sure. And I am playing double DPS trinkets. But that is mighty huge. No, getting sick of this rep paladin right here. I have one sec. Let me hit him with the hodge. A hammer lay. Big wake. Get myself again with the uh, L stun. Really don't feel my healing at all. Mess up once. Oh man, this is rough, guys. This is rough. Not much else we can do here. So get run down by the enemy team. Oh, this guy has the legendary. The 
hot to the sky. I wall myself high. And knocked very, very far, unfortunately. Going to get purged immediately on both Bop and Freedom. Like, first global. That is so incredibly unlucky. He has... Dude, that's crazy I get that unlucky on the purges. He probably has the 15 second cooldown per... Or 12 second cooldown purge that purges two buffs. And, of course, my two buffs that got purged were... Bop and Freedom. It's the problem with not having really, like, trash buffs in this game anymore. <coughs> Everything just gets purged immediately. Slow the Shaman. Get full feared. Okay, not popping cooldowns on this guy. I'm gonna charge at the Shaman, but I don't really have any uh, gap closers here after this. I really don't want to pop my cooldowns on one guy, but I have to. Feared. Why is it going on me? Alright, I have like Omega cooldowns for this guy, actually. Make sure my slow sticks this warrior. Oh, that was a big 246k. And they're all gone because Rhett doesn't have a real slow. Love that. Freedom right into a trap. Nice. I just wanted a freedom for the move speed. Dude, anytime I play this build, I notice the lack of mobility so bad. And I it's so sad. It's honestly so sad. It's like right back to Shadowlands or pre rework red. Should have bubbled a little bit higher. Going to wings heal myself right here. Close. Oh man, I just didn't, like I, I want to make a build where I have a melee ability, but I, I can't. There really isn't one. There's no build that truly like turns red back into the melee. Like Templar Strikes is worse in PvP than Crusader Strike, just because of the way that the rotation works. I also want my healing back. I miss healing. 97k. Like, imagine how little Flash of Light and Word of Glory are going to heal next patch when the HP pools are even more. Like, they just don't scale with anything. Disoriented. Oh man. The one thing I am curious is like how much fading light is healing for. Three percent. More than leech, but less than you know, <laughs> less than everything else. Uh, we lost this game, but that's fine. I mean it was a it was an okay test round for what I was doing. So absolute max pumper final verdict. 447k final verdict um huge absolutely huge damage everything else felt pretty bad like crusader strike crusader strike plus melee combining for about nine percent of my damage 
that's roughly what Crusading Strikes combines for. Except I have a global to push here. Um, it does feel a little bit nicer to have that global with Vanguard of Justice. But is Vanguard of Justice really worth losing out on increased attack speed, basically, from the amount of presses that you get out of of a three holy power te Temple verdict or final verdict? I, I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't think so. But definitely for BGs, this is a fun this is a fun little setup. I do miss Divine Purpose. Like, this I wish we still could take this easily, but we can't. We have to go like Divine Resonance. Which actually does do a pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, fading Light here. Let's see the final numbers for Fading Light. Insanely low. Just barely above 2% leech. So, 3.5% of our overall healing. I mean, similar to Crusader's Reprieve, but again, I didn't get too much value out of Crusader's Reprieve because it's not proccing on our auto attacks anymore. So we have pretty low uptime on Crusader's Reprieve. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, anything else here? Flash of Lights, I had a ton of Flash of Lights this game. 26 and 17 Word of Glories. Um, and I just didn't feel like I could heal much at all. Our top healing by far was Shield of Vengeance, followed by, uh, I guess, Lay on Hands here. Got only two pushes, but it was okay. All right, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.